Hey guys, it's Ryan here. Gonna talk about our song, Fairweather, today. So stick around if you wanna hear more about it. And uh, let's go. All of the friends that I have made Make more excuses than memories Ten years have passed and it's come to this We're all on to a sinking ship So Fairweather is one of the first few songs that we wrote um, shortly after releasing our first two demo songs, Second Chances and Mistaken. And this is when we started to come into our own in terms of songwriting. Uh, Mike and I started working more uh, heavily on the lyrics and we started putting together rhythms that started to push us forward into the sound that eventually turned into songs like These Words of Weight and Six Feet in Conversation. Um, but I think this is where the blueprint for our lyrical identity really became established. Um, the few songs that I had written before that lyrically were kind of all over the place. They didn't really have a theme. And I decided that I wanted to use um, a lot of the messages of the songs as ways to share feelings that I've had that I haven't really seen expressed in music that I listen to. Um, there's a lot of metaphor and imagery in, in a lot of the, the emo, hardcore, screamo, post-hardcore, whatever you want to call it, music that I listen to. And though I love and appreciate it, I wanted to try and be more direct with some of the things that I would put in the songs that we would perform. And starting with Fairweather, I think that really rings true. So in the opening of the song, you have the line, all of the friends that I've made make more excuses than memories. And there's no way to dance around what I'm trying to say. I spent a long time through my teens and 20s trying to establish friendships and relationships with people. And every time I wanted them to do something with me or to get together or to just be there, um, instead of getting met with support, I was constantly met with reasons why they couldn't be there. Um, now, I exaggerate, I'm sure, in, in my memory that, that they didn't have valid reasons or excuses, but in that moment, when I was really looking for someone to be there, the people that I thought I could count on, they simply weren't. Um, I tried to fit in over and over and over and over again and this kind of resulted in the opening of the second verse where it's uh, where I sang um, I spent the best years of my life trying to fit in a thousand times because in retrospect had I stopped trying to fit in with other groups of people maybe I could have started to kind of find my own community my own people much earlier in life than I ended up doing which is more recently and I do have to say I do have um, a very strong support system around me with my friends and my family and I couldn't be happier but the whole idea of the song is to encapsulate that feeling that I felt because I know that I can't be the only one that's been through that or that will go through that so the song exists as a way to um, kind of relieve that tension, act as some sort of catharsis. I know that when I perform it live with um, with the guys, I definitely feel like um, I relive some of those emotions in a much more healthy way than I did when I was initially experiencing them. Um, but the, the real duality of the song comes in the chorus where Mike is singing and I won't let desire fade away. It goes, to kind of look at all of this negativity and not let yourself get lost in it, to pick yourself back up and do all of those cliche sorts of things. Um, at least in my interpretation of the song, I'm not sure if that's how Mike sees it or how you as the listener might see the song. Um, but I feel like the song overall does have that positive message of it's okay to have experienced these things, as long as you take that step forward and try to move on. Um, musically, I think it's a really fun song. It's something that we enjoy doing, so we wanna incorporate it into our music. And hopefully we've begun to spring off of that and grow into something a little bit more um, established or developed as we, as we continue forward. 
But uh, thank you so much for hanging out with me. If you haven't heard the song, find us on Spotify, Royal Hearts. Find us on Instagram, at Royal Hearts FL. Find us on Facebook. You can even join our Facebook group. Uh, all of those links are posted on all of our pages. They'll be posted at the bottom of this video. Uh, don't forget to like this video if you felt like it. Dislike it if you think I'm an idiot. Uh, subscribe if you want to make fun of me on a more consistent basis. And hopefully we will uh, see you guys at a gig. Bye, guys.